Hey everybody, it's Michelle Lavore and Devin Lavore coming, coming at you. And we're so glad that you're here and uh, we just pray that you guys are encouraged. Um, I know we just put out a video yesterday, but this is just something I feel like God is just wanting to share as well today. And so uh, we will get into that in a second, but also we want to just <laughs> give a huge thank you for everyone who continues to give to us. Um, it's truly just a blessing and uh, we appreciate each and every one of you. And we are support based, so if you would like to give to us, you can. We have a PayPal link below, and you can yes. just click that. Yes. No. It's awesome. Yes. <laughs> so I just really wanted, I really feel like um, this is something that God has been, actually, He was speaking to us this last week, um, but has continued on. Um, and this morning after God time, I was just like, oh, this is really on my heart. I really want to share. Um, what God has um, been speaking to us. And yeah. I really believe that it um, really just, it's something that we really need to know, our hearts need to know um, as we go forward into the new places that God has for us. And and that is basically the battle belongs to the Lord. Yeah. Um, that now phrase, don't click off. <laughs> Some of y'all didn't even click the video because that's what it said in the title. but. <laughs> Don't click off because you're like, oh, I heard that before. Well, hear it again. You, yeah. might hear, you might hear something different that you haven't heard. <laughs> well, I've read the Bible. Well, then don't read it anymore. Said no one who's coming after God ever. Mm -hmm, you just, you just you know. be into that word. You'd be feeding it and getting on it every time. And how many times you read something a hundred times and you go, wow, I've never seen that before. Mm -hmm. And it was there the last 100 times you read it. So, you know, take the trigger, put it aside, continue. <laughs> But yeah, so the battle belongs to the Lord. And we actually, yeah, it was last week, basically, the Lord kind of brought that phrase. Um, mm -hmm. And even the song, we've been, uh, it's a song by Rebecca St. James and Brandon. Rebecca St. James, of all people. Yeah. I mean, she's been gone forever. Yeah. You know, and um, Brandon Lake from, yeah. uh, I forget. From Bethel or He's something. his own person. Anyway, <laughs> um, they were singing this song, and it's all about, like, hey, the battle belongs to the Lord. And mm -hmm. it's kind of just been in our worship rotation, but especially these last two days. So what is it that the Lord is saying with, you know, the battle belongs to Him? And what does He want our hearts to really just grasp? And I really feel like it's just this sense as we go into the new land that he is going before us mm -hmm. and we really need our hearts to settle on that because i feel like that will bring a great peace um to people because the word is like he's gonna fulfill his word in our life and i for many of us those fulfillment fulfillment of the promises like we talked about um in our last video it's like it brings a life it's a whole new life that you're going to be right. living it's a whole it's like a birth yeah it, it is really a is a, a yeah the birth and so you're going into something completely new it's like you know getting a new job or working in a new field it's totally different mm -hmm. and and in those places god's like i'm not expecting you to just take what i've given you and just run on your own it's like no we're getting we're getting married, so we go together. And and that's actually yeah. been a, a picture that God's had with us. This whole journey that we've been on is just this idea of being married to the Word of God, being, being with Him. And it's like when you get married, you guys are now joining together and going forward into something new. And it's really the same with what the Lord is doing right mm -hmm. now. It's like we're coming together and we're going into something new and he goes before us and he prepares the way he's the one that is going to fight our battles and and i think that it's just really important to um have that in our hearts have that sewn in so that as we go forward we're not consumed or thinking like okay it's mine now okay god gave me a promise now i have to go with it and all right let's go let's go well, let's go you're coming kind of from a place of resting Mm -hmm. while he's nesting yes. <laughs> yeah. you're just in a place of rest and peace in your heart I mean, it's just it's really a good place to be it's the place mm -hmm. the kingdom of God place to be you know, yeah. that he wants to, it's what God wants for all our hearts it's like peace peace be still mm -hmm. <laughs> exactly <laughs> and, and so with that though one of the things from last week that we received 
was kind of um, just knowing the different kinds of battles that we can be facing and oh, how yeah, the yeah, Lord yeah, yeah. has you respond in those different places. Yeah. And um, so right now, like the, when the Lord is speaking, like, hey, the battle belongs to the Lord, he's really speaking from a place of like, it's going to be the stand still and see the deliverance of the Lord. So this is one of those moments where mm -hmm. it really is stand still, see the Lord's deliverance, just yeah. like the Israelites did when they were coming out of Egypt, when they crossed the Red Sea, mm -hmm. when they went across the Jordan, when they came to Jericho, all of yeah. those moments were these moments where God's like... Second Chronicles 20, yeah. the three armies. Exactly. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. like, those are all examples where God's like, stand still, I'm going to deliver you. You actually aren't going to be doing anything. You're going to be praising me. You're mm -hmm. going to be worshiping me, but that's how I'm going to deliver you. And then sometimes the deliverance of the Lord and, and the way that God goes into a battle is, he says, go ahead and go up. I'm with you. I'm going before I've you. I've given it into your hands. Yeah. Now go and fight. Exactly. You won't and, lose. <laughs> and so that can come in our lives where maybe God's directing us and saying, hey, I've given it into your hands. Go ahead and go in this direction. Start pursuing these things. Yep. Go in that way. Which means it's gonna take work. Mm -hmm. And you are gonna face uh, adversity from people or whatever but it's like don't worry about that that the, the victory is already done I've mm -hmm. already established it. it is already written in heaven so let's get it done here on earth exactly and so it's like nothing's gonna come against you so don't believe the words like Nehemiah go before you go ahead I've given it into your hands and then he went and he had to gather the people and build mm -hmm. the wall and there's all kind of opposition exactly. but it's just like as long as you don't listen to that opposition you're good Mm -hmm. you know? and, and you will see that it's the miraculous hand of God. They put a wall up in around Jerusalem in 52, 52 days. days. Like that is it, That's it's a amazing. huge number for us right there. And, um, 52. and then there's also enduring. Sometimes when we come into a oh, battle. Oh, the third kind of battle. Yeah, the third kind <laughs> of battle. It can be an enduring battle. It's kind yeah. of that you have to go through to get to. And, and sometimes mm -hmm. there are things in, in our life where God's just like, we're just going to have to walk through this. You know, it is going to be a fight, but he's with you in that. And so he can sustain you and give you the grace and that you're going to need to go through that whole battle. Yeah. Um, and then also, I really felt like there's a fourth one um, that the Lord was sharing with me today. And that's the, this is not your fight. And this is not a standstill and see the glory. This is a don't even bother with that battle because mm. we don't need to even fight it. Come so on. just walk away from it. And um, the fourth battle is the no battle. Yeah, exactly. It's like, <laughs> it's like this, this ain't is even not, yours. Just this isn't step yours. Away. Just go, leave. <laughs> you know, it's the idea of fleeing. Mm -hmm. You know, um, wow, and that's so awesome. it's like to just know, like, God's like, you need to realize there are different ways that he goes before us because even in that he's going before you if he's saying mm -hmm. that's not your battle don't even touch it then don't be keep standing in front of it going lord why aren't we seeing any results here because <laughs> you're like you're not supposed to even be there to begin with yeah so you know keep walking with him and mm -hmm. um and so i think it's just really important to know um that god is going before us in the battles but to also know what is he saying when we face battles mm -hmm. because there are the different ways that god works in our lives when he um, brings victory and um and so it's like you just really need to continue to be listening to the lord and and he will move forward and some of the other scriptures that we were receiving this morning um we've gotten well we, we first got them probably about well two months ago mm -hmm. wow that's Two months ago, wow! <laughs> but um, and and so it's Genesis nine seven, and it's talking about um, being um, the multiplication, like God blessed them to like said, be, be fruitful. fruitful and multiply. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and then there's Mark nine seven, which talks. It's actually on the Mount of Transfiguration, and um, the voice of God says, "This is my son. Like listen and obey him." And mm -hmm. then there's Isaiah nine seven. And that basically is talking, it's talking about Jesus, but being the, um, establishing the Lord's government and it's God that will perform it. 
And I felt like with these three verses, um, and they're all nine sevens, <laughs> that um, yep. basically the idea is that God is blessing his people. Um, and the key, though, is to listen to the Spirit of God. And when we listen to the Spirit of God, it will establish his kingdom. Mm -hmm. And and especially in that 9-7, it's talking about a government where there is peace and that God's God's ways of doing things are going forward upon the earth. And and so I felt and the like, zeal of the Lord shall perform exactly. this. Exactly. It's the That's Lord. That's one of those that this goes. is gonna happen whether you want it to or not, you can either get on board or get steamrolled. Which one do you want? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's gonna take place. Yeah. So. And so I just really felt like that was also from the Lord of saying, Hey, I this new era that we're going into, God's like, I am putting my blessing upon my people. Those who have gone through all that I've taken them through, those who have continued to stand in faith mm -hmm. and believe me for the promises over the life, it's like, I am going to be blessing you. And, but I'm also reminding you that it's, how did you get here to begin with? Well, you listened to my spirit. So continue to do that when you go into the new land. Continue yeah. to listen and I will go before you and I will make the way straight. I will clear out the path that you're gonna need to yeah. accomplish all yeah. that I've put upon your heart. And and I think that it's like, that's how God is gonna establish his kingdom. It's through his mm -hmm. blessing, us listening to his spirit, and then he's going to push out the darkness and bring, you know, bring forth his kingdom here on earth. And cause us to be fruitful and multiply. Exactly. So yeah. it's like, it's really, the truth is that like. It really is the great God. commission. Yeah. In a nutshell. It's, mm -hmm. It is, it's another way of the Lord implementing the fruitfulness mandate. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah. Getting theological there. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it really is. The Lord is saying, just listen to my heart. Know that I am going before you. And I just, I, it's like I can't emphasize that enough. It's just mm -hmm. that God You're is... really feeling that. God huh? is going before us. Yeah. Don't take things into your own hand. Don't, don't Enjoy start... Enjoy the ride. You know, even <laughs> with like the fullness of the promises, um, it's like don't, don't even take words that God has spoken over your life. Don't take even, you know, you receive the promise. Don't take that and start just going on your own, stepping out. Because, you know, there. it's like if God has spoken something over your life, He will perform it. He will do it. He will lead you forward in the way that you should go. And, and you don't have to figure out, well, how is this word going to come to pass? Right. What do I need to do to help this thing come along? <laughs> and it's like, God's Trust like... Trust us. We've been through that. <laughs> <laughs> Take some advice. And it's like, <laughs> no, just allow the Lord to open, unfold things. Mm -hmm. um, let Him be the revealer of all of the hidden things. Yeah. And He will, like, you will start to see, okay, this is the direction you have us going. Mm -hmm. This is where, you know, you've, you have provision. And when the Lord goes before you, He is going to make a way where there seems to be no way. And one of the other things that we've really been getting a lot is just that um, it's Luke 137 and it's like oh, with man. God like nothing is impossible and so we're in this time where God is saying I'm ready to fulfill my word you're pregnant with his promises from me we're getting there we're almost there mm -hmm. but now I'm just I'm really I'm just fattening you up with with my words and mm -hmm. let them come upon your heart let me direct you let me just remind you like i'm going before you don't be afraid i think that's the that's the very last thing that the lord ever wants us to be is afraid and as we go into these new lands that he has for us as as we receive the promises god does not want our hearts to be afraid right. instead he wants us to take courage knowing that he goes before us that he is going to clear away and that no matter what things might come up against us it's god will deliver us and he can deliver us in just great and powerful ways and also actually one beyond of the, our imagination yeah like beyond anything that we're thinking god is god he can literally do anything he wants mm -hmm. he could create another devon like right here right now 
And it just would, no, seriously, he could. He could if like, he wanted if, to. I mean, he's not going to, but I'm just saying, like, that's the way we have to start thinking about the Lord. Mm -hmm. Like, he could literally do it. Who would have thought that the sea would have parted? Yeah. Or the Jordan would have parted? Or bread would fall from heaven? Or any of the things that Jesus did, he would do? Yeah. You see what I'm saying? It's like God's creative. He's like, mm -hmm. he's like, listen, the crayons and the paper are mine. I'm going to color what I want to color. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. <laughs> yeah. And I also just wanted to um, highlight as well that God is talking about going before us, not only in the big things, but those things we would consider little. And it's in every <laughs> area of our life. Yes. It is in relationships. It's mm -hmm. in finances. It's in your jobs and your everything. work. Every aspect well, of your life. That's the nature of covenant. Is covenant, it covers everything. Mm -hmm. When you get married to the person, you get married to the person. Yeah. The, the, the quirks and the features. Yeah. The sleek lines. All of it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You get married to the whole thing, you know? I say quirks and features and sleek lines because that's a car reference. Yeah. So, because, <laughs> you know, Doug DeMuro, that's where we get that from, the quirks and features. But don't sue us, Doug. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah He's got but, like millions of but subscribers. But just that, <laughs> that the Lord wants to go before us in all things mm -hmm. and, and even every detail, like in our families and in the relational dynamics of our life. Um, and mm -hmm. and to just know and I think that it will give such peace to our hearts when we know like God is with us and he goes before us mm -hmm. where we don't have to come up with the right solution and the, the perfect way to do something and just and need the just, wisdom of the Lord we just need the Lord and he listen is, to Jesus yeah he is <laughs> always with us he's ready yeah. to speak and if God's not speaking we just need to wait for those plans to develop we need to just wait on him and just trust knowing like he's right there with us he has us in his hands and we're in a safe place yeah and um so that's all i had did you have anything no i thought add? that was great <laughs> all right so that's all we have for you guys today um just know that the battle is the lord's and mm -hmm. that he goes before us we're getting ready to go into a new land and in that new place he wants to, us to know we're not going alone yeah. he's going with us and to really just lean on him trust him and bring our hearts to a place of peace yeah i just i just do i, I feel like the lord is just like he wants our hearts to be in peace as we go forward and that really is something that he shared with us before it's like there's going to be an exchange um and there's just we had a mm -hmm. vision one time where we were getting off a plane and we went down and we were met by peace yep. and peace led us um after that and handed off by tender mercy exactly we went from tender mercy over so to we peace. went from jesus to oh hey jesus yeah <laughs> <laughs> just a different manifestation of how he's going to work in our yeah. lives you know yeah and so i just believe god has peace for his from people. jesus to jesus i know <laughs> like hey jesus, hey, jesus. <laughs> you're everywhere <laughs> But, but yeah, so God just, he really wants us and have it's our like, hearts It reminds me of peace. like Bruce Almighty, yeah. where Morgan Freeman played God and he was just everywhere. He was the bum on the street. He was the cab driver. He was the CEO of the company. He was just, yeah. he was just everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. we couldn't escape the video without a movie reference. Yes. So. <laughs> but yeah, so just let your hearts be at peace and let it just really sink in that God is going before you. He has all the wisdom mm -hmm. that you're going to need um, in the new places he's taking you. Um, and it's him. He is and the wisdom. it's him, yeah. yeah. And so we can just be um, just in a place of rest. So yep. really, until next time, guys, we will see you later. Love you guys. All right. Bye. Bye-bye.